some people were waiting for them, some were not, and some were completely indifferent. But after they appeared on the streets of Kathmandu playing bridangas and kartals, everybody noticed them. People of Nepal saw their purity, unmotivated enthusiasm and full faith in what they were doing. Here we came to Nepal in 77. Prohibition of came there first. Sent here by Prabhupada. I came up just after Prabhupada left. I came up. So then it was pioneering. We had to start from scratch. We started with a guru pool. Harinams, book distribution, life membership, the usual things. <laughs> and uh, it was exciting. Pioneering is always exciting. That's what I want people to understand, you know. But if we simply stay in one place, especially if we're young people, we'll become restless and we'll just become passionate and they want to settle down our family. And so on. But there's so much work to be done. So we used to do traveling in Sankirtan. We were at Nagand, Nepal, Ganj, Beer Ganj. And we went up and down Nepal a few times. I'm very happy to come to the Iskand Youth Forum Center in Kathmandu. Today, Iskand Youth Forum is in Kendrama. I'm the founder of the Iskand Youth Forum. I'm very happy to come to the Iskand Youth Forum Center in Kathmandu. Nepal about 30 years ago. We were selling the sex of Prabhupada books to the libraries. And we had a lot of people who were in the library. We had a lot of people who were in the library. We had a lot of people who were in the library. And I thought it would be a good place to start a discount center. महाराज जिला इलाय को थियो कि वो कश्मीर में किस कौन को केंद्र खोल लेकर में एकदम रामरो वाला बने जैसे लाय को थियो। So he asked Prabhupad for permission. He said yes, you go and start a center there. तो महाराज जिले प्रभुपाल लगा रहा है। नेपाल में मंदिर खोलूं कि गुरु महाराज बने शोधन वाको थियो और प्रभुपाल दो हो हो नेपाल में तीन नया सेंटर खोला हुआ है they have the spirit of Hinduism, so you should establish a stronghold of this kind. So we started the center in uh, Goshala in September of 1977. September ma. Next year is 30th anniversary. Hello! 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 And after that we moved to Bodhanil Kanta and we got some land over there. सब बंदा पहली गोशाला में तेरी मंदिर खोलिए कुछ हो पांच साल से त्यां गोशाला में बिताइयो तेरी शादी पहली कमल आदि में अपनी पांच साल से बिताइयो रा तेरी पंचाली हमरो आपने जमीन बुलाने लगा अंठा में थियो रा त्यां जमीन को व्यवस्था बाहर रा हमें त्यां शाले का चीज रा आइले मंदिर त्यां यो आइले बुढ़ाने लगन था मैं वहाँ कुछ मंदिर था तो जमीन था यो श्रीमती राधा रानी को जन्मदिन में अर्थात राधा अष्टमी में पता लगाइए कुछ यो तो वी कैन डेवलप सम सेंटर ओवर देयर बट वी ऑलवेज थिंकिंग वी शुड हैव अ सेंटर इन द सिटी इज़ वॉल अब ऐसे यहाँ तक मंदिर बनाने ने परसा बाबे मंदिर तरफ यहाँ सार में प्रचार करने का लगी थोड़ा प्रचार के अंदर बने आवश्यक थी उसे देखने। तो I'm very pleased to see that you have opened a nice center here and preaching is going on very vigorously, very actively. 
आज यहाँ तब यारले राम रोक केंद्र खोलने वाले रहे थे ना प्रचार के लिए एकदम After spending a couple of months in a <clears throat> seven down dam, I came back to Kathmandu with Prabhu Swamiji, and uh, we uh, <clears throat> opened a small discount center in Bhaktisuddhi Gosala, which is very close to ancient Prasvetinath Temple. At that time. We only had about ten foreign devotees, mostly German and British, and few Americans, in Bhaktisuddha Vigosala Temple. And uh, in those early days, as a devotee, I could, I could only feel that every day we were assigned to go to the downtown center and do the Nirvana Kirtan every day. And just to read a few books, Hindi and then English books we had at our disposal. And uh, what we probably should try to do is to do Imam Delhi in downtown city. Then after five years, we opened the center in Kamaladi, just opposite the uh, Royal Academy, a big place next to the American ambassador. Everyone thought that we in America were connected because we were next to the American ambassador. And then we brought Jagannath from Jagannath Puri, big Jagannath. And, uh, things didn't expand so much, but devotees seemed to want some land, which they could call their own, instead of a rented place. This is a Nepali mentality, even a common man has some land. The Hare Krishna society, Hare Krishna doesn't have some land. You know, it didn't seem right. So in the end we started looking for land, the best place, we wanted the best place in Kathmandu. Later in 19... 78, 79. In those days, uh, uh, we were uh, having a temple in Gaushala and we were having a small Gurukul there and uh, Mahavishnu Prabhu was the temple president and uh, we joined and we what kind of difficulties were there in the beginning? Well, we had financial difficulties, we also had social problems, we also had to face the local Brahmins who were opposing Krishna consciousness, and um, uh, overall, devotees were uh, only foreigners were there, not many Nepali devotees. We took interest in Krishna consciousness uh, and uh, we, out of blue, we just joined Krishna consciousness and we thought, oh, maybe we will survive, maybe we will not. Let us try at least. And then we started looking for land, the best place, we wanted the best place in Kathmandu. We look all around. We decided the most important thing. I wanted to see the place where we could see the Himalayas. Because I thought, well, we must see the Himalayas. Because Krishna says, Stavara Nam Himalaya. Among, among, among immovable things, I am the Himalayas. But then back to stand the problem, he said, no, no, no. If you see the Himalayas, it gets cold. It's cold in the morning. Ah. So we decided the most important priority was to have good supply of water. So we started looking on the north side, but you couldn't see the Himalayas. Under Shiva Puri and uh, what you call it, Sundri Jao. We tested all these places, and we started to concentrate on Buddha and country. It was a holy place, and eventually we found some beautiful land. We moved there, and after ten, about ten years we moved on to the land, five years we moved on to the land. Baba Vishnu Swami Maharaj and Mahavishnu Swami Maharaj were against the idea. But when I, I was brought up in Mayapur Gurukul and I was educated there. And uh, uh, after managing the temple for so long and the temple had been constructed in Buddha Kanta, Maharaj just said, just continue with the Jagannath deity, just continue with Lord Nithai. You are not ready for worship of Radha Krishna. Uh, you don't have enough Brahmans. But then I said, uh, uh, 
If our devotees, if my trained devotees are not able yes, to worship Radha Krishna, I will at least not be president of this temple and um, I will just want to go back to Mayapur and stay there uh, with uh, Radha Madhava because I was brought up from that culture and from that uh, scene so I don't want to uh, be away from them for very long time. I'm feeling separation of Radha and Madhava in Mayapur. So, uh, and I also I uh, said, if you give me the permission to worship Radha and Krishna here, I also uh, pledge to guarantee you that uh, all the time there will be Brahman devotees, at least for next 10 years, and there will be Brahman initiated devotees for doing this service all the time, without fail, and I will not bargain you that, oh, okay, let, let me uh, worship them with the new devotees and all that. So we were given permission and uh, we found a sponsor. sponsor the deity and uh, then deities were uh, carved uh, in Jaipur with the help of Udaya Krishna Prabhu who is one of our senior devotees and they were uh, transported to Kathmandu by air and uh, installed them with the help of His Holiness Prabhu Swami Maharaj, His Holiness Sayapataka Swami Maharaj as well as His Holiness Mahavishnu Swami Maharaj with hundreds of devotees from uh, his uh, safari trip came here and we had big big installation ceremony all the devotees enjoyed the ceremony even though it was very austere and just newly constructed building and we had no facilities for them they took the trouble and they stayed with us and it was a great joy for all of our temple worship of Shishi Radha and Krishna he also engages his disciples in such worship they dress the deities in beautiful clothes and ornaments clean their temple and perform other similar worship of the Lord. I offer my respectful obeisances at the lotus feet of such a spiritual master. The spiritual master is always offering Krishna four kinds of delicious food, analyzed as that which is licked, chewed, drunk and sucked. When the spiritual master sees that the devotees are satisfied by eating Bhagavad Prasad, he is satisfied. I offer my respectful obeisances of the lotus feet of such a spiritual master. The spiritual master is always eager to hear and chant about the unlimited conjugal pastimes of Radhika and Madhava and their qualities, names and forms. The spiritual master aspires to relish these at every moment. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of such a spiritual master. The spiritual master is very dear because he is expert in assisting the gopis who at different times make different tasteful arrangements for the perfection of Radha and Krishna's conjugal loving affairs within the groves of Vrindavan. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of such a spiritual master. The spiritual master is to be honored as much as the Supreme Lord because he is the most confidential servitor of the Lord. This is acknowledged in all revealed scriptures and followed by all authorities. Therefore, I offer my respectful obeisances to the lotus feet of such a spiritual master who is a bona fide representative of Sri Hari Krishna. By the mercy of the spiritual master, one receives the benediction of Krishna. Without the grace of the spiritual master, one cannot make any advancement. Therefore, I should always remember and praise the spiritual master. At least three times a day, I should offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of my spiritual master. <laughs> 